Hello, welcome to my channel. Today, this is gonna be my first video. It's just gonna be on information on how to install the Cobb Flex Fuel Kit for the 2000 and up STI. Uh, my model is a 2018. Um, they're pretty much all run the same. As you know, the EJ hasn't been changed much. So with that being said, one disclaimer is do this at your own discretion. Uh, I will not be held liable for anything that happens to your car. The way I have mine run is pretty much off of the Cobb website and other sources that have shown people how to do it. Uh, I haven't found any videos on YouTube at that time when I was installing it. So if there's any out there, um, well, this is just probably another one. Uh, but I'm just gonna show you how I ran mine. I have zero issues. I am currently running 85, so it is ethanol uh, compatible. Uh, but let's begin. First off, I'm gonna show you where the Cobb Flex Fuel Sensor is, and it is down there below. I'm gonna be using that as a reference because the letters are facing up. So when you run yours, if you do like mine, just go ahead and follow the way I have mine routed and you should be okay. So first off, we're gonna start off with that brown connector that you see right there. That brown connector is running right here in front of my oil fill cap, and it is routed right here and it is going up into this little connector here or uh, a harness, if you would, that's housing all the electronics or the wires. Um, because these are kind of in the orientation of a triangle, I'm gonna use this as wire one, wire two, and the one in the front is going to be wire three. Wire one routes down, goes into the brown connector right there on the bottom of the words cob. Wire number two routes around, comes to the back, drops down in the engine and it runs down there along the frame and i'm going to tug on it so you can see it it's right there if you can see it moving just route it down and that goes into your o2 sensor that is on the downpipe it just cl uh, plugs in there and the factory plugs right in after that uh, the next wire that i have is going to be number three which is right here in the front this one goes down and it just plugs right into your TGV port on the driver's side. I'm gonna go ahead and wiggle that wire now so you can kind of see where it's at. See if I can get it. Right there, you can see the harness moving around. So the plug goes in, for the cob plug goes in, then it has a little piggyback that you would plug the factory TGV wire into there. And that's pretty much it for the wiring. As far as routing the fuel lines for the flex sensor, uh, as I said before, the cob wires or cob letters are facing up. So the fuel line to the left is going to be this guy here. It is routed into this port right here. Uh, I don't remember off the top of my head if this is the return, but it is connected to my fuel pressure sensor, which is also Cobb. I uh, will describe that in another video. But just for now, this is where the fuel line from the, le uh, the left side of the Cobb sensor is running. It goes into this port here. The second one is off to the right, which is this fatter cable here, or hose. That one just routes into the fuel pressure regulator, which is clamped into this part right here. Um, like I said, it's a pretty simple, straightforward install. It's not really too hard, but there are some uh, confusion sometimes on the websites. Um, this is what I'm running. So hope this helps. Uh, if I got anything wrong, feel free to comment in the comment section. And uh, this is just to help other people figure out how to run this system. Thank you.